you got your harness on. Mm -hmm. Let's go get some work done and we're gonna do it safely. Safety is our middle name. Safety first, said no RR builder ever. So we're just gonna get set up real quick guys uh, with our fall protection, putting on some different shoes that we were not tracking, chunks of mud that we got in the lugs of our boots. I always think it's a smart idea when roofing to have separate shoes. But I'm gonna go put these fall protection spots on. You wanna hand me one? Nope. We literally don't have any screws. Don't get me wrong, this is way better than not having fall protection. I just don't like using it because it impedes my ability to just flow around the roof, you know? Yeah. That's my biggest thing. Fall protection is definitely the smart thing to do. Um, so I feel invincible with it, so I think it could jump off the edge. Well, that, I, that's honestly sometimes my problem. Mine's what are you doing, by the way? I'm getting just a couple up here, so that way. I'll just put them in the valleys or something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. here, go and throw those in your pouch. The thing with fall protection is obviously you kind of need to do it. See? Now I won't fall nowhere. Run! Run! <laughs> <laughs> Jump! <laughs> it's not a joke, Greg. Safety's not funny. <laughs> uh, I passed out. So what we did was we marked a couple lines here on each end. I'm gonna make sure that we're covering this trim, which is why we got it on first. And we're gonna cover these fasteners. So we just went ahead and this is a 57 inch wide product, 80 feet long. So I made a 58 inch mark. That way we're not going all the way to the edge, but we're covering the majority of it. You good? Yep. So I think it's important to always start with a nice straight line. It should make it run better. Just like all these other tapes, and flashings that we do, the straighter it is, the less of a chance of having like fish mouthing or a poor lay occurring. Perfect. Whew. All right. So this has got a two part backing on it. So we've got like a top and a bottom. If you guys have ran ice and water, very similar. Like I think I said earlier, we saw this product at JLC. I would recommend going to some of these big shows where you have a chance to go to these booths for these manufacturers, these suppliers, make relationships, see products. That's how I found this. And I would have never known about it if I didn't go there. Like this is not just sitting on the shelf at my local lumber yard. Um, I would have been getting high temp ice and water like I always do. They're heavy. Um, they don't always stick great in cold weather. And this is supposedly gonna be really uh, way better than a lot of those products. So I'm excited to give it a try. Oh, let's see here. We might have to run from the other way. Why? No, that's, that's okay. No, that's the right way. This yeah, right we're way. going the right way. Yep, we're all good. So the only thing I didn't do, Greg, is let's go ahead and get it rolled out a little bit to start. Push it. Yeah, okay. Okay. Here, take this, take this and hold it. Good thing with this adhesive is they claim that if you get some wrinkles, you can pull it back up and then put it back down. So I don't have to like be perfect on the initial placement. Greg, pull back more and kind of flatten it out okay. and make sure I'm on my line. All right, I'm gonna try to get it nice and tight into this corner. There we go. I think we're gonna like this product, Greg. Yeah. The way it sticks is pretty cool. It's sticky, but I can undo it. Look at that. I just undid that, and then it goes right back. Oh, sick. There will be no water intrusion under here, Greg. That's good. That's good. Perk number one of this product. Look at that nice corner. You don't get that with ice and water. You don't. Not no. at all. Unless it's super hot out, then it sticks so much that you could never, you, you can't, can't yeah. you can't work it. So Whoa. the other thing about this that I will say is it is pressure sensitive. So I need to apply pressure. Under here, I'm just gonna use this squeegee, but we do have some brooms and you could use a, like a large squeegee for like concrete floor or whatever, or just a large squeegee. But you do need to make sure that you apply the pressure so that it adheres. Okay, let's roll it out. You go ahead and go out there to the other end. And we're gonna get this kind of straightened up. Oh, this stuff is nice, Greg. Okay. 
I like how like when it flips over, it doesn't really stick on the top side. Yeah, dude. No, this is this is sweet. I know I don't I don't know a ton of people that get excited over products like this, but I am definitely excited over it. Now what I'll do here is I'll just go ahead and grab another piece and I'll just fold it down over this, but I tried to leave this corner as long as possible. And I probably could have done a better job on this cut, to be honest, I should have maybe gone a little bit more of a steep angle, but I, I'm not really worried because I'll just shingle another piece right over top of this. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, it still lays like a, like a dream. Look at that. Oh my lord. Oh yeah. To activate adhesive, apply pressure across entire service using a roller or a squeegee. But their documentation does say a stiff bristle broom. So that's what I've got. I could go get the squeegee too, I guess, huh, Greg? Go ahead. Do whatever you want. You sure? Mm -hmm. All right. Because we don't have the lift right here, this will be a little bit more cha challenging. How do you want to do this? Mm. Magnum would be the best. I don't think it'll reach from there. Yeah, we've, I've made it to this corner. From there? Yeah. Are you sure? Yep. Because when we did the, the we, haven't, we haven't moved a sense of these guys, right? Oh, yeah. You, yeah, we moved it. Where's it? Undo me. The pain of the back and forth on and off the roof. Heck yeah, buddy. Look at that. Once again, the Magni proving its weight. Oh God, this is a great looking product. I love using products that look good. They gotta perform, but man, that looks really nice. Just grab that broom, big dog. Oh uh, yeah. We just gotta work it into that back corner there. My bad. That's all right. We are pushing the limit of this guy. Yep. Up. Stop bouncing so much. That's very satisfying being able to do that with your uh, your roof underlayment. You know, if this was a uh, like a synthetic felt, you'd be stapling it everywhere and you'd be tacking it up, and it would be really messy. Look at that. That is nice. I'm just gonna get a little wild, you know. Oh, I'm cramping. Starting to cramp here. Let's get some of it out of our way. I can use these little scraps. All right. Just get all this crap under there. Take her up a little bit more. I mean, you're about splitting the dashes now. Well, then we'll split the dashes. It's all good. No, fine. That's the uh, the acrylic, man. It just remember when they showed us that? That's like one of the things you like, dude. Check it out. If they stick together, you can't do that with ice and water, right? Yeah, we'd be, be throwing the roll away. Mm-hmm. Ugh. I'm not saying it's not annoying when it when you mess up like that, but it comes right out. The wheat. Mm. There we go. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I'll fish that under. 
we looks just, really good from got, here. We just got a little bit something, something going on there, but let's find it. Will it shed water? 100%. Ugh. It's not all that bad. Good thing I'm a young buck, not some old dude. How's the neck? <sighs> Honestly, <laughs> pretty good. I think that kind of stretched me out. I feel like a million bucks right now. I feel pretty good. Yeah. I'm not even joking. I honestly feel pretty good. All right, that's good then. Let's go. Climb into this world of the unknown. Hey, Greg. Yeah. Hold so my picture. Hold up? my picture, my camera, at on my, my pocket right here. See it? Ooh. And then take a picture of me so I can send it to my wife. The wicked witch of the east underneath her house. Well, I want to see that like my feet are off the edge. I'm only slowly slipping. Let me put my foot on you. There you go. Go ahead. This is called. We're teamwork. locked in with the power of friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Seven points of contact. That's right, bro. You don't even know the type of freaking origami my body's in up in here. <laughs> Come on, buddy. <laughs> Hard part's done. <laughs> nice. Oh, there. That was a good one. <laughs> <gasps> Safety third, guys. I'm glad we put our fall protection on. That might have been a little risky if we didn't have that. I'm going to grab you by your belt. Yeah. <sighs> okay. That is the hard part. I knew that was going to be a struggle, but get out of here. The nice thing is, dude, that is a nice detail. I mean, we're gonna do more detail when we do all of our metal trims. Like this is gonna get another layer of just a ton of details. But right the there. way it sits, hey, you got my squeegee. The water is gonna shed off of this thing, no problem. Yeah, I need my squeegee too. Yep. Oh, look at that. Uh. Now that we got those two runs on, now we need to get our valley because we're now gonna wanna run over this sheet. So everything that goes into the valley will come down and be on top of this. Honestly, yeah, valleys and then it's on to the races. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. No, but for real, why aren't we putting our plastic edge like right back in here? Like after we do it, we'll just shove it right in here. Should we Fine. snap a line for this? We can snap a line or just set it evenly in the valley. I think we should snap a line so we're straight. I mean, I'll straighten it up with the valley. I'll be okay. We'll be all right. We'll do what you want to do this time. Yeah, we'll do it my way this time, and then we'll do it your way next time. Nice. I would say like right in there. All right. I don't know guys uh, what my conundrum is. I want to put that same um, extended eave trim here, but I want to put this roof panel in. I want to do my valley flashing. I want to have this fascia here and I want to have everything properly f flashed. And I'm afraid if I just put my extended eave in here, I will lose my ability to, it, to flash up this side and up onto the roof, which I might want to bend some metal there to do that properly. And we ain't doing that right now. This We got to get this covered up. So I'm just going to go ahead and cover this all with the vapor dry. It'll be all watertight. Mm -hmm. And then when we come and do this flashing, then I'll just take a piece of seal tape, tape it back to this, and everything yeah. will just run over. So I think so. Yeah, okay. I like it. The show must go on. So this is the problem. You see this? This got stuck down instead of laying into this valley tight. And what that is is loose, which means you can have an issue uh, with carriage and it can rip if you step in there. So this is another nice thing about this, uh, this product 
is the European acrylic, as they call it. We can just lift it back up. Okay, I'm pretty good through here. We'll start making a list of things you can't do with ice and water that you can do with this. One, colder temperatures. Two, you ain't ever getting it to come apart if you do that. I think your backside didn't get brushed either. There you go. There? Yeah. Well. Uh-oh. Did I hear it? Oh, no, I think we're still good. No, we're still good. Uh -oh. No! No way, dude. No. no, come on, man. Was that a partial? Yeah. That was a big partial. Come on, man. <laughs> what are the odds? What are the odds? Oh, well, it's all right. It laps. We just got to make sure that we do a six inch lap on any verticals. Four inches on the horizontals, hence this little line here. And six inches on the vertical lap. Probably not going to use this roll unless it's for something small. Oh, we probably use it for like down here. You know? I'm just looking at the line and covering it. Oh, uh, kind of. Kind of just going right through the middle of it. Okay, that's what I want to know. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's my squeegee. It's right there. I can't reach it, dude. <laughs> I'm at a max. Good to know that if I fall. I'm not gonna make it much past the edge of the roof. Now you guys may, may be watching us do this and some of you may already know and some of you may be like, why are they always going and starting on the right side instead of just going back and forth, back and forth? Well, because this product, first off, the writing is, is one way. It's not a two way product, okay? You've got your four inch line dotted here. That is so you know where your overlap is. Also, whenever you have a backing product like this, and if you've done ice and water, you probably know one overlaps the other and it's always easier to pull off the backing that's on top first. So, hence why we're running it right to left, because we'll pull this top off first. Nice little detail I learned on the Benjamin Opdyke page. Just cut that, fold that, then fold that over top. That way, you're always shingled properly. What do you think about that, Greg? That was really nice. Literally, I learned that just probably the other day I watched a, a video they put out and that was, that was one of the uh, little tips they gave. And I thought, you know what? That's a good, that's a really nice, nice way to do it. Look at that, dude. Impervious. Whew. That is, that's the thing that dreams are made of, Greg. Yes, that's the sort of stuff I dream about. Those details and thinking about how to make them waterproof so nice and clean. You know what? You wouldn't be able to do that with ice and water. Pretty good, dude. I'm Gucci. Yeah, I'll pull off the back. all the kids say. I'll pull off the bottom. Huh? I'll pull off the backing off the bottom. Yep, go ahead, buddy. Uh, can't reach my knife. Oh, I got it. Don't worry. Okay. Where's my safety, Greg? Huh? Where's my safety? I had a really kinked neck starting today, Greg, and I'd be honest, I think I've stretched it out. Or maybe, <laughs> whoa, what in the? Okay, let's get this last valley in. <laughs> I 
Yeah, there you go. A little faster, a little faster, come on. Get that nice and tight. Pressure, 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 Greg. Come on. Come on, Greg. Working it. It's fourth quarter, dude. You gotta put it all in there. Oh, look at that. Good. We meet in the middle on that near that old Georgia pine. We gain a lot of ground. Both give a little. Look at this mess. Oh my goodness. Oh my. This is one of those deals where we worry about that later. We're gonna pretend it ain't even there, Greg. That way when we push it to closing time. We're like, wait a second, we gotta clean this mess up. Clean what up? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I need another full, don't I? I'm afraid I might step on something or somebody in here. You know, we were even smart and we brought a garbage can up, we put a garbage bag in it. But I guess we're only partially smart. We didn't actually use it. That's, that's for when we get into the lift and we- uh, Do our cleanup. Do our cleanup. Yeah. Where's coal when you need them? Cable. When you step on it, since it's, pre it's pressure sensitive, yeah, it actually adheres more versus like felt paper. If you were to step on it after it's tacked down, you want to step on the laps. Yeah. And if you don't, then you could potentially like rip it and roll it. Uh huh. Breaking ankle going down the roof. Yeah. So you're almost like helping it if you step on the. Well, it's a very wise observation, Greg. Thank the you. more you step on it, the more it's adhered. Yeah. All right, now that we've made it to the top, guys, we're going to, you know, just worked out. We're going to have this lap over, we'll have that lap over, but this is a vented ridge, so we will end up cutting this open for our vented ridge. But for now, we're just going to let it stay sealed up and uh, keep us dry underneath. Are you where I want it, Greg? Yep. This might be a little bit tricky because of the bend over the top. So let me, when I say tricky, I just mean, I don't want it to fold over too much. Okay. So I think, go ahead and run it. I might, I might pull the bottom on this one. Maybe go like halfway or that's yeah, fine. Pull her tight. I mean, I'm about out. Okay. This is a good scenario where you pull the bottom first. Yeah, well, if I pull the top, it might kind of stretch it and go over the peak and then it gets kind of squirrely. So I like to kind of, go ahead and finish it, man. I like to kind of pull the bottom and then stretch the top over as we do it. Oh, you got her. Look at our broom, man. It's uh, bent. bent a little bit from applying the pressure. You see the so, bristles too? Huh? You see the bristles? Yeah. Do what you gotta do, man. Gotta apply the pressure so we get adhesive. Guys, it's getting dark out. Obviously, we don't wanna be up here much longer. I really wanted this covered up before this rain event, but I'm not too worried. We still got the weather logic underneath it. We got all of our valleys. We got this whole main section covered up and I am ecstatic about this product. This is uh, the best underlayment I've used. I'm not just saying that. I know it's getting dark, you probably can't see it, but it just laid like a dream. That's important to me. It's like, like using the product heat sheet on the underground. Nobody's gonna see that, nobody's gonna see this. This is gonna be covered up by our roof and no one will know, but I'll know that we got a product that is not only self-healing, so fasteners won't be leaking, but also 
it's vapor permeable. So we're gonna get some drying outwards of my roof sheathing. And uh, yeah, I got more, so stick with us and we'll get this wrapped up and then we'll move into the next step of this roof system. Look at this freaking pile. Greg, I tell you what, I'm gonna go broom this top, okay? Uh huh. You start just, just cramming, cramming that stuff. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of paper. No, but for real, why aren't we putting our plastic edge like right back in here? Like after we do it, we'll just shove it right in here. <laughs> Did I even do anything? <laughs> You're doing God's work down there, Greg. What? You're doing the Lord's work, okay? Just keep at it. Hate this. I'm looking. Can't find my boot. I think they're in here somewhere. Found them. Got them. I'm gonna go home. All right, guys, believe it or not, uh, woke up in the rain. Looks like it's going to hold off for a couple hours, so going to get started early. Probably not a whole lot of filming because we're in a hurry. We got to get this thing done, and to be honest, we're basically putting uh, the underlayment on just like we did on the other part of this building. It got dark last night, guys, so this is kind of the, the state we left it in. We got the main roof section all done. These lower details, which were probably the hardest part. So honestly, we're kind of ready to rock and roll. This really feels nice to walk on look at how nice it laid i don't know if you can see it one of my favorite parts about this product is for things like this look at this how nice this worked out a little dark in there a little dark it goes in those 90s flashes up a wall just beautifully do it, dude. We're wrong with it. We're wrong with it, dude. Look straight. All right. I'm good, I'm good, I'm great. No, it's been no work. Get it stuck. Don't worry, buddy. I got you. You're not falling on my dime. Watch. What? What? Hello? My thing is stopping me from going lower. <laughs> Good enough for the girls I run with. Okay. I uh, see raindrops. Yeah, dude. Oh boy. Okay. Yep, I just got hit in the eyeball. You could hear it. You could see it. I feel it. It's three out of the five senses. Six senses. <laughs> Get a little, wait, bring your bring your wrist up a little bit. No, okay. Like that there you go. A little cup. Okay, <laughs> okay that's good. Let's get this. Come on. Come on. Ah, I'm hungry. Can we go all the way down, or you want me to? No, just hang tight. Get your line. I can't get it. I got the roll. You. All right, we got to do a little bit of detail right here, like coming up and over. So I'm not going to stick that too hard. Just kind of get it where I want it, and then we'll peel that up in a little bit. Yeah, we just want to get as much covered as quick as possible because we got a little drizzle on us, and we'll have to come back and kind of get our shingled effect over here, kind of like we did on the other sections. We don't got time to mess around, so. I'll do that in a little bit. Or if I don't get to it, then at least we got as much covered as possible. It's For done. context, guys, Christmas is Monday, today's Friday. So that's kind of the really big push is we got the holiday season ahead of us at every year. You haven't done your Christmas shopping, have you? No, but also, that's not important. January 1, life changes for us and it turns cold, snowy, crummy out, getting this covered. I had I had tons of people, in fact, on my IG seeing this process and like, dude, why are you doing that when you have Weather Logic? And to that, you know, I thought about it a long time because I finally decided to use the product. And it was not that the weather logic is not weatherproof. It's that there's gonna be potentially days where we're gonna be up here shoveling the roof off. 
this won't be a hindrance like tape will. We'll be hitting the tape with our shovel. If we don't have to pay as much attention, we'll be able to kind of just push the snow off, I think, that's my thoughts. Also, it is permeable, so the sheathing, if moisture is in this sheathing, uh, coming up through the building while we're building it, while the concrete's curing, the moisture's coming up when I put temporary heat in it, and this thing is all drying out, this is gonna help uh, be permeable and let that air dry, or the, yeah, the, the products dry. I'm gonna have cedar breather on top of this, which is going to add more penetrations into the roof, and my thought was, metal directly to the sheathing, people always tell me it's probably not the best thing to do, you gotta have an air gap. Well, then I thought, okay, if I have an air gap and I have condensation potentially in there and all these different fasteners, do I want over the lifetime of the weather logic to be succumb to that potential condensation at those fastener points? Mm, I don't really want to because this is mine and I, I know it's more money, but it's better. This is a self-healing membrane. So I think I've answered some of those questions, but last night I got tons of questions on the Instagram. Why would you spend the money on this? versus just using the weather logic because it's kind of like belt and suspenders. I'm glad we're using it. It's, to me, it's a, it's a great product. And I don't think I'd ever want to use a regular ice and water again. Greg, your opinion? I agree. Hey, there's nothing wrong with ice and water, dude. It works. It has its place. It's gonna get a little tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. You hold that up. You almost need to lay it flat because you're- But I can't. There you go. Just kind of let it. Yep. I'll walk it down. Now walk it down. running for rolling. What you doing there, Kyle? Huh? What you doing there? Oh, buddy, just living the dream. Just absolutely living the dream here. This is this is the kind of stuff that actually gets me out of bed early in the morning, is the thought of being able to do something that gets me excited and with a little bit, a little bit rest. Hey. Uh, you know, the older you get, I think you seek more risk in life because but you're not risking anything because you're tied off oh see that's why i think i feel so comfortable because there's no way i would be here if i was not tied off and that tie i can't reach anymore i would do it for the team you do it for the team yeah that's dumb greg i would never ask you to do this well yeah of course you wouldn't ask me yeah i would not ask you to do this that's why i'm here i don't want you gotta you gotta we got christmas man yeah, Christmas. First Christmas with a girlfriend? I might be the second. I don't remember if and I were together. I take it back, we were together. Oh, that's sad. That was probably the worst decision of your life. I don't know about that. I would agree. But it wasn't a good decision. Nah, it was pretty bad. Wait, wait, what would you say is your worst decision in life? Worst decision in life. Because I can't think of another one. I mean that respectfully. Tell you what, I am excited today. You wanna know why? Why? <sighs> because I went to bed thinking that for the rest of this year, this roof was gonna sit exposed and I wasn't gonna be able to get up here because the rain that was coming in. But not anymore. We got a couple hours this morning. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm just, I can't reach, dude. Ugh. I got, can you give me a little bit of fall protection? Oh, I'm wedged in, I ain't going nowhere. Thank you. I did it, dude. I did it. Ugh. 40 is the new 30. Remember that, kids. Getting older doesn't mean anything. It's gonna get a little. my knee in here and the roof. Look at that, yeah. dude. I am, I'm a damn billy goat up here. I've made the climb around. You know, I know a lot of people are gonna say, oh, you should have done all that before you put the roof sheathing on the upper area. Uh, we tried to do as much as we could, but I didn't have this product yet, so it is what it is. Never perfect in construction. Do your best. It's a rap song, brother. And if you don't know, now you know. I'm money. Right. Yep, I'm money. Even going up the wall. So, before I fix that, let's get it tightened. Okay, slice that. That was your guide. Nice. Now I'll just take this guy, just because I got it. 
we're just gonna set it right here. There's that, and then take this, fold it right over. Oops, sorry. <gasps> Got it. This is real here. Ain't no water going in there. Say it with me, guys. You can't do that with ice and water. go between my legs and uh, cut that. Hurry up. Going in. Thank you. Okay. Okay, let me get my side. Well, we didn't get it all done, guys, but we did get everything over that ridge done and honestly that's that's really all I could ask for when it was supposed to rain starting early morning I didn't think we'd get anything done Greg it's kind of like a little Christmas miracle they would say yeah I would say so let's clean all this up and get off this roof hey my boots are wet you know this was like getting a present that you uh, never wanted like getting underwear for Christmas yeah it's the present I wanted it's, it's a present but it's not the present you wanted. Obviously the present we wanted was to get this entire roof done. Yeah, I wanted it all done. It's kind of like when you ask for that cool new toy and then you get the, yeah, there's a box the generic looks, version. There's a box that looks exactly <laughs> like it. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired. That, that's a little bit of work there underneath those angles, Greg. Kind of cramming angles. your body in there. But hard part's done, so that should shed water.